So here's some quick tips on social media posting. The two most important aspects of social media are clarity and consistency. So under that first heading, clarity, you need to make sure in your post, in the title, that we know exactly what we're clicking through. A thumbnail does the job visually, but also from the heading we need to know. So, Air Firefighter Receives Lifetime Achievement Award. We know exactly who it's about, where it is, and what's involved. You need to be very, very clear and distinct. Um, also in the descriptions, uh, it's key to give two or three lines, and then further down in posts, whether it's video, audio, or written stories, include elements that make it easier for the reader uh, to interact with the content. So that includes pictures, audio slideshows, short video embeds, URL hyperlinks so they can click through and find out more information. If it comes to the press release and the press release is online, allow that person to click through or embed that PDF file into the post um, so that, that the, the reader is interacting with the material. Consistency is also very important in social media posting. If you're going to release a story at one o'clock and at four o'clock, make sure they do come out at one and at four. If you're releasing a video, um, make sure that they come out at exactly the same time on the same day. Same with podcasts, same with vlogs. You've got to keep it consistent for an audience. As well, that applies to geotagging. So in descriptions, in categories, always include our location. Uh, the student uwsnewsroom.com uh, website and make sure to include your name if you want the content to be found. We're helping Google, we're helping search engines find our material, and that's really important. So keep it consistent and keep it clear when it comes to social media. And as well, if you're think about your medium, think about your audience. So if you're posting videos to Instagram or to Snapchat, turn the phone the other way. If it's for television or online, keep it this way, because that's what we're used to, and that's also the shape of a TV screen. Uh, and when it comes to audio snippets, make sure the audio levels are adjustable and high enough. Also, when you embed videos into YouTube, you can add in um, individual words or you can get it to create subtitles. So that allows an audience or uh, a viewer to not have to listen to the material, but also read and interact with it.